Yeah. Remember when I was fishing for a compliment and you instead just complimented all men everywhere? <laughs> I roll. You did. It what does my mean. hair look like right now? Crazy? It's nice. See, I give you compliments. Jeff, you look nice. It's too late. It's not worth winning if you can't win big from Kyle King. And mine... Michael Scott, the man, the myth, the legend. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about- Board games. And- Board gamey things. Exactly. Did my... you think I was gonna cut you off? No. Cause I almost did. You just did there though, when I was about to say my name. My name is Jane. I'm Jeff. I didn't even get to finish saying my name. My okay. name, my the name. Jeff. My name is Jeff. 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 Yes. <laughs> my name is Jamie. I'm Jeff. And we're here today to do a different video, something that we haven't done before, but it came to me once upon a dream and I thought, let's try it. Did you actually dream about this? I don't think so. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're gonna be comparing all of the racing games that we've played. All of them? All of them. Is there that many? How many There's is there? only five. And we are going to, from that- That can't be right. It is. I've like looked at everything. There's like no racing games. <laughs> it's crazy. What? Did you just see what I did? <laughs> Touch screen. It's not a touch screen. We are going to be comparing all of the racing games that we have played in hopes to determine which one is best. An objective list. Just kidding, it's subjective. So what we're going to do is we've put all of our racing games that we've played into- All five of them. All five of them into Pub Meeple. And for anybody who doesn't know, Pub Meeple is a website that you can go to to rank and compare your board games. It will match two board games from your list against each other, and then you have to determine which one you like more. Yep. Yep. It's very convenient. It's very convenient. I've only used it once, but it was pretty fun. So it's going to pop up with two of the racing games, and Jeff and I collectively need to decide which one of those two is best. Mm until we get through all of them and mm -hmm. then we'll have our list a ranked list so the rules are that we both have to what? you spelled jamaica wrong oh jamaica yeah. <laughs> Nobody can see it. Doesn't I spelled El Dorado wrong too. Anyways, the rules basically are the two games are gonna pop up. Jeff and I have to collectively agree mm -hmm. on which one is better. If we do not agree on which one is better, mm -hmm. we have to have a discussion about it until we do agree. So Jeff and I don't always agree on things. This is gonna be hilarious. We thought that we would start off with racing games because there aren't a ton of them. We haven't played all of the racing games, obviously, yep. but we played some and it's one of my favorite, I think both of our favorite mechanics. So mm -hmm. we thought let's start here and then from there we can maybe grow this if you people, yeah, if if you you people like, it, like it. If you like it and you have any like some uh, other like yeah. mechanics we could do, maybe we could do a mechanics mechanic thing. Or like yep. we could do all from one publisher, like all games we play from Stonemeyer or AEG yeah. or Roxley or whoever. Yeah. yeah, this is a really good idea. This is a great idea. Thank you. Now I will say Board Game Barrage does something similar. They call okay. it the BGB BGB Bob where but they are like debating so each will bring their own list and they're trying to determine what oh yeah, best yeah yeah versus. I remember you list yeah, um, so this is a little bit list. different than that so we have five games those games are Camel Up, Cubitos, Downforce, with two hours, Jamesha, what? <laughs> I did this later. We have Downforce with two R's, Jamaica, but smell, spelled Jamaica, smell. and then we have Quest for Eldorado, Eldorado being one word, which isn't terrible. But. Ugh, this is what happens when you put me in charge. So the games we are yeah, comparing is Camel Up, Cubitos, Downforce. No, Downforce. Downforce, Jamaica. Jamaica. Jamaica, and Quest for Eldorado. Mm -hmm. So are you ready? Yeah, I already know what my number five is though. Really? Yeah. I honestly, oh, I think I do know what yours might be. Okay, let's go, rank. Okay, seven comparisons. So first up, we have Downforce versus Cubitos, which is a difficult one for me. Okay, so Downforce is a car racing game. Cubitos is a cube racing game, but well, you're in the land of cubes. We should elaborate a little bit. Sure. Downforce is a uh, car racing, but there's an auction element and you're yes. playing cards. auction bidding. So you're playing cards to move your cars. Yeah. Cubitos is a push your luck race game where you're rolling dice, adding dice, drafting, not really drafting, buying dice to add to your pool. Mm -hmm. 
rolling dice to move your character. Yes, and the other thing about downforce as well is your car doesn't necessarily need to win. You just have mm -hmm. to be right in yeah. who is winning. Yeah, so you're auctioning car types to start, like colors. Yeah. And then you are eventually bidding on who you think is going to win. Yes. So it is beneficial for your cars to win because there are dollar amounts associated with being first, second, or third. You're also bidding on winners and stuff. So yeah. there's multiple paths to victory. So I love both of these games a this is lot. A, this is a... This is probably going to be one of the most challenging this matches. This is a banger matchups. first uh, matchup. Yeah. So we've played Cubitos a bunch. We own it. Mm -hmm. We've played it. What? Own it. <laughs> we own it. Just FYI, don't be jealous, but we do. We've played it a bunch. We've played it at two players. We've played it at three players and four players. Mm -hmm. So it's a hit every time with every person. Downforce, we've also played at two. Oh, yeah, we've played it We've played it many, person. many different uh, iterations of this. Yes. So, so we've played it in person at two. Yeah. We've played it on BGA with the expansions, the Danger Circuit expansion. We've played it at like... Like a Safari expansion. Uh, it's Danger Circuit. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, at two, I mean, you might as well say two, three, four, and up and to like plus. six, I think maybe we've played it at. Yeah. We've played a lot of Downforce. We've only played Downforce one time in person. Mm -hmm. Everything else has been on BGA. But we love Downforce so much that we have it on order with the expansion because mm -hmm. this is such a great game. Okay, so if we had to determine which is best, which is best, Downforce or Cubitos? Cubitos is cuter. Okay. Let's go on the merits. Okay. What mechanic do you like better? Do you like the auction bidding card placement better, or do you like the dice rolling push your luck element? I think I like the push your luck element better. Mm -hmm. What about you? I pref That's tough for me. I prefer the card placing auction piece. Yeah. Because again, with my luck. No, it's not but I, this is going to shock you, I think, but I think I'm leaning Cubitos on I this one. I think I am too. And I think it's because, like, I love Downforce, though. Me too. We always have such a great time, but I feel like there's something about Cubitos that's just so, like, lively and fun. And it, I think it has to do with rolling the dice and, like... See, but here's the thing. Are we saying that because we've played Cubitos at a higher player count live than we have Downforce? I bet you if we played Downforce live, like, in person, mm -hmm. we would be this would be much more difficult because when you play it on BGA, it's kind of like you're just clicking and picking and then there's not as much excitement. Yeah, I don't know. I think it also depends on who you're playing it with because when we were playing with like Josh, Danielle, and mm -hmm. Max and we were like blocking each other in mm -hmm. and we were laughing, I think like the theme of Cubitos has me more. See, Downforce has me more. Right. If you had an ideal player count, let's say you got to play both of these games at an ideal player count in person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So someone calls you and says, hey, I want to play one of these two games. We have four people here, if that's your primary player account. Right. We have four people here. You have to pick the game. But ideal circumstances, which one are you picking? I think I might pick Downforce. What would that's you pick? Fair. I'm... <laughs> This is stressful and I, I don't think even know why. I'm leaning I'm leaning Cubitos, but I think if I had the same experiences of a downforce on the table mm -hmm. with a bunch of people, mm -hmm. I would be picking downforce. So I think I'm downforce. So you have to say maybe lock it in. So I'm going to say downforce and I'm locking it in. I'm locking in downforce. Okay, so downforce it is. Wow. That was very It's going to get easier, I think, as it goes. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Sounds not great either. <laughs> okay, we have Jamesha. <laughs> Jamesha versus Camelot. Camelot. So Camel Up is a, once again, a bidding and racing game where mm -hmm. you are bidding on camels who are racing around a track, mm -hmm. uh, hoping that you can choose the camel that is going to be winning and yep. the camel that is going to lose also. You can bid yep. on both of those. And there is a mechanic where there are two camels going against the track Yes. that can other camels them. can land on and then be carried backwards. Yeah. And that's... A new newly implemented system in the revised edition, I think, in the second right. edition of Camelot, which is the one we have. Which is the one we've played. Jamaica is a pirate-themed race game where mm -hmm. you kind of have a set of cards yep. and you're playing cards and those cards allow you to either move, yeah. um, grab like treasure, I think, mm -hmm. which gives you new cards or new like you can purchasing go ability. And yeah, there's a lot of like manipulation. We've only played this a few times, but yeah. it's basically a big rondelle and the first one to get across or get get through wins basically. Yeah. So we've played Jamaica twice, I think. We've played it only mm -hmm. with uh my brother, so only at a four player count. Mm -hmm. 
Camel F we've played quite a few times. We've played it with my brothers. We've played it with my brother and my niece. We played okay. it with our friends Shannon and Jen once. Mm -hmm. So we've played, definitely played Camel Up more. This is an easy choice for me. It is for me too, but the thing that I prefer, I prefer Jamaica's theme. I really like that oh, really? piratey theme. Okay, yeah. Camel Up has a pyramid that poops no, no, no. dice. No, 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 no. The theme. See, this is what we always talk about. The theme of the game. I just prefer the pirate E theme over the Camel -y the theme, Egyptian. Egyptian theme mm. but camel up's an easy point uh easy yeah for me camel too. up is easy for both of us this is probably the funnest game i can't see ever. anything surplanting really camel up for me mm -hmm. interesting spoilers okay so i'm locking in camel up i, I am locking in camel up camel up okay next up we have downforce and quest for el dorado <laughs> Okay, so we've already talked a little bit about Downforce. Quest mm -hmm. for El Dorado is a deck builder. It is a deck builder racing, racing game. game that is just like the most pure form of race game mm -hmm. that you could possibly have. You mm -hmm. are building up cards in order to move your people to get to the end of the terrain of El Dorado. There are mm -hmm. no victory points, there are no like special win conditions. It's literally you're playing cards to move your meeples to get to the end first. Yeah, similar to Capitos, wherein it's really just whoever crosses the line first. Yeah, and El Dorado is definitely an entry-level game. Yeah, very much so. Which we do own. Yeah, so you're, you're essentially playing cards to get through different terrain types. Yep. So you're cutting down, we, uh, cutting down jungle with machetes yep. to get through the jungle. You're collecting coins to get through the market spaces. Yep. And then there's mountains and all and of boats, these things. Yeah. yeah water and etc etc this is another easy one for me yeah i think this is probably an easy one for me so quest for el dorado i think the downfall for this one is that we've only played it at two players yep i would love to play this game with more players number one and i would love to play this game with more new players like people that we want to get into the hobby oh yeah it's right? definitely an entry because i think game. that that would i think it'd be exciting to play with people who are like this is really cool like who I haven't think, done deck building or yeah anything uh, i think the beauty of quest for elder auto is it's giving you two kind of mechanics to introduce people to that they could latch onto. one being the deck building yeah optimizing your deck so that you're mm -hmm. traversing this map as quickly as possible the other is just the racing aspect yeah I, quest has a special spot for that purpose alone yes but i find for us it's yeah, difficult yeah. to compete with these other ones at this it point i am going down force and yeah, i'm locking I, it in i'm locking in down force as well. zoom zoom i'm very fast have you ever won down force she's louise just a question asking for a i friend. actually don't know <laughs> I don't think I have. All right, next up. Did you up. win the last time we played no, Down Force? No, you did. didn't. So get out of here. Next up, we have Cubitos versus Quest for El Dorado. Another very easy one for me. Me and as well. And I just think it honestly is because Quest for El Dorado is so simple. I'd love I... to play with the expansions though, because I think that does add maybe something into it. Yeah, it's tough. This is a bit more more difficult for me because I do prefer the deck building aspect of Quest for El Dorado than I do the, the push your luck aspect of Kibitos, just because my luck is so poopy. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to put Quest for El Dorado, in my opinion, in these rankings because it is kind of the lighter one yeah. easier i mean easier to get to the table if it's new gamers yeah. uh, new to that mechanic but i love yeah. kibitos. kibitos i love the theme i love the little dice i love the variety that it gives you the only thing i wish kibitos and this isn't really necessarily a knock just like a wish list and i'm sure you can maybe get them <laughs> i wish they had like a oh, dice tray dice trays oh individualized dice Dice trace. Yeah. Dice trace for everybody. Yeah. Right. But yeah, this is an easy one for me. It's Cubitos. Locked Cubitos. In. Locked in. We haven't had much disagreement, Jeffrey. Hmm. Okay, next up we have Downforce versus Camel Up. Now, this is a tough one. I know in my mind which way I want to go, and I don't know that you're going to go the same way as me. Yeah. So I will, I want to go camel up. Yeah, so do I. Okay, you do? Yeah. Oh my God, we're like on the same page. So why? I've had, again, this is why I keep saying like, I want to experience downforce 
and I really want that game to come in so that we can play with your brothers and play with your niece and get the same shared experience that we've had with Camel Up. I will say that Camel Up, I think that aside, that experience aside, Mm -hmm. the fact that Camel Up has so many other little things you can do, like you can choose to roll the dice, you can choose to take a bid, you can choose to do these things as a extra layer of strategy over downforce which is literally i'm going to play a card and move cars but there are special powers in downforce you mean the boost card no like the other like you can be cunning you can i know we have but we haven't played with those oh i have we we played with those in our time at boardroom cafe Hmm. Mm. but you haven't played with them but you're but okay but yeah fair enough there's special actions but you're still only just playing a card. You're yeah, just yeah, playing. Yeah. I mean, like you're not getting Camelot, the dice to poop out of Camelot a pyramid. has the the pyramid that you grab and you you roll the dice There's and everyone's like, "What's gonna happen?" You like, gotta sell me on Camelot. Blah blah blah. I think it's again. This is tough because I want the the table experience of Downforce a bit yeah. more, but Camelot, Camelot for sure yeah. locked in. That That's a tough one to compete with. Freaking for us. fun. All right, Downforce versus Jamaica. 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 This is also an easy one for me. This is actually closer for me than I really? think it should be. Yeah. I, you know what though? Like honestly, we played Jamaica and I we had so much fun. Mm-hmm. We wanted to like we were thinking about it. We wanted to buy it. Yep. We wanted to play it ourselves. But then you know Zach was leaving for Egypt and we're like, well, we don't really have a ton of people to See, play with. See, it's been a long time since we've played it. A and B, we haven't played it as much as these other games. I just and talked to Zach and they recently played it and he was like, it's still so. Fun. To your point, yeah. after we played that game, we were like, this game is so. <sighs> good and I think that was actually that might have been one of other than Camelot which I think mm-hmm. was the initial race game we played yes this was the second one this we played. was the second one we played and I think that's when you were kind of like maybe started to think that the racing mechanic was something you yeah a lot. it's so fun the thing about Jamaica is it's so colorful and bright and the theme is excellent yep. And you can really screw other people over. Like there's take that action Mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Now you can in Downforce, like you can block people in, which is a little bit funny to do, but I think it's a bit more in Jamaica. I'd like to play more of both of these games. I don't know which one I want. Jeff wants Jamaica. I think I'm Jamaica. There's really cute seagull cards. I think I'm Jamaica, but I don't know. No, no, no. I'm Downforce. No, I'm I think downforce. I might be Downforce too. And that's, I think that's just a product of how much more we've played it. That's not a knock on Jamaica. I just don't think we've played it enough yet. Jamaica, man. It's very good, but I'm, I'm Downforce. So. Downforce, locked in. Yeah. Okay, Jamaica versus Cubitos. Cubitos, locked in. Yeah, I don't think we need to discuss that one. I think, honestly, like, Cubitos is very quickly becoming one of my favorite games. Yeah, it's very good. It's so fun. I love rolling dice. Okay, here's one. Quest for Eldorado versus Jamaica. This one's easy for me. It's Jamaica. Yeah. I just think... Of these games, Quest for Eldorado is on the bottom. It just is. You had your mind made up before we even started. I agree, though, Jamaica. It just, and it's not because it's a bad game. It's a, it's an amazing game. It's just, it's too simple for us at this point. Mm-hmm. We're so intelligent. We're beyond <laughs> Quest for Eldorado. Jamaica, lock it in. Ooh, that's it. I don't want PayPal. Thank you. Okay, so, ooh. Is I'm that not, what you were expecting? I'm not overly shocked. Okay. I think two and three could probably just live harmoniously. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. Okay, so our final list, mm-hmm. because we only did five games <laughs> for a very quick video. Our number five, should be no surprise, is Quest for Eldorado. Yep. Uh, and that is from Ravensburger, designed yes. by Reiner Knizia. Then number four, we have Jamaica. Are you going to be able to list those ones off? No. Do you want me to look Yeah. Out? <laughs> that was a s- silly decision. So Jamaica from GameWorks. GameWorks, yeah. Bruno Cathala. Yeah. Malcolm. <laughs> what is it? Brath. Malcolm Brath. Sebastian Howshon. Sebastian Howshon. The crustacean. Crustacean. From Little Mermaid. <laughs> that is Jamaica number four. Pirate racing. Yep. Number three, we have Cubitos, designed by John D. Clare, published by. <laughs> AEG. What? I've been on my iPad so much that I keep trying to touch Stop the screen. Stop putting your fingerprints all over my screen. I walked into this thinking Kibitos would be my number one. Over Camel Up? No. Come yeah. on. Man. Over Downforce though, but then I picked Downforce. You did. Oh my god, I was so stressed out. Okay, then we have number two, Downforce from Restoration Games, designed by Wolfgang Kramer, Rob Davio, Davio, Jacob, damn it, 
Justin Jacobson. John Jacob Jingle Irish. <laughs> That's my name too. Okay, so that is our number two downforce mm -hmm. and our number one game, which I guess is really no surprise because the it game isn't. we love. I think it's on both of our top 10 lists, isn't it? It's on mine. It's not on mine. Maybe it's not on mine. It should top be. Top 10, no. Is it on mine? I don't know. Camel Up from Eggerspiel, designed by Stefan Bogan, I think. Here. I can't read that. Yeah. Stefan Bogan? Yeah. Is there somebody else's name on there? No. A game by Stefan Bogan. I really like this. I want to do yeah. this with like a longer, bigger list. It could turn into a long video though, because this is a half an hour. So that is our Versus series number one, Racing mm -hmm. Games with Camel Up coming in at number one. We have not tried, but I desperately want to try Flam, Flam, Flam Rouge. I want to try Flam Rouge. I like to try that Flam Rouge. I want to try that Flam Rouge. Isn't it Flam Rouge? Flam Rouge. What is it? Flam Rouge. Flam Rouge. Oh, c'est français. <laughs> la la. So I want to try that game, which is a bicycle racing game. Yep. And I really want to try Long Shot, which is like horse, horse racing. racing yep. There's not a ton of racing games, which is There's probably of, some we're not thinking we of. We were but... thinking about putting Sheepy Time on this list, but mm. it's not truly a racing game. You're kind mm -hmm. of racing against the nightmare, but it's not really one of its main mechanics. So mm. didn't put that on there. Nope. I have a hiccup. That is our first of our Versus series. If there's another mechanic or something that you would like us to do one publisher. of these videos on, a publisher, mechanical, mechanic, mechanical, publisher, uh, to theme, like space. Come on. That's getting way too broad. Disney. Space theme. That's like a million games. Disney game. We haven't played a million games. Anything like that, let us know down below. If there are any racing games that we haven't mentioned that you think we should definitely play, also mention those down below. Yep. Let us know what you think about everything. Literally just tell us what do you think about everything. Like what do you think about the color blue? Sure. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you, Kyle King, for that beautiful shirt. Kyle King, co-creator of Seasons. And a real sandbagging son of a... Sandbagging son of a... I don't think that we can leave that in. Yeah, a real sandbagger. More sand. More sand. More sand. More. More. Need a lisp. More sand. More. More sand. More sand. More sand. More sand. If you would like to join us on our Discord, we would love to have you. Please definitely feel free to do that. If you feel like supporting us uh, on Patreon, you can also do that. All the links and information's down below. Oh, that was nice. We have social media at Foster the Meeple on Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow us there. If you would like to buy any of the games that we talked about today, you should definitely start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us here in Halifax is Boardroom Game Cafe. Say it with conviction. Where is it? Barrington. <laughs> Located on? Barrington. Exactly. We'll put all the information right here, as well as down below. Stop with that stupid finger thing. I hate it. Other than that, that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. I'm not a crook. Goodbye. You've never seen that no. Nicolas Cage movie? No. I don't know what, I have no context for that. Enough spot. Can you people hear us? One sec. Yeah, thank you. I knew something was, yeah, it was hanging nose. on there. Are you ready? So basically, how we're going to do you have this? I'm so confused. Why? I don't just did. Jeez, it must be a Monday. I mean, it is. Again, you said you said that. You said it, man. I know. Number three, we have. Is it pirates or privateers? I can't really remember. I think it's pirates. Or I don't know if it is pirates. I feel like it's not pirates. I think it's just like it's like different ships. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> Whenever we go up, the people always show. Uh, there goes John and Jacob. Can go Hamish Smith. No, no, no. I had to finish it. Yeah, but I haven't even cut anything out. Though I don't think we need to. We did great. We barely paused at all. Yeah. No yawns. Definitely didn't need to look up publishers and designers and stuff either. Oh, that's like normal fare. Yeah, I like this. Everyday fare. Now, there are some You just other... said number one, Camelot coming in at number one. Number one, Camelot coming in at number one. Nobody was aware of it.